All right, so I figured maybe we should do this because I have never done this before. Granted, I have streamed uh, various Xbox One X games in 4K before, but I have never like done a live stream where I just go from one Xbox One X game to another. Uh, I really want to jump into these uh, native 4K games. Uh, not so much the, the upscaled games. Like I want to hit those native 4K games that are available. Games like Forza 7, Forza Horizon, Sea of Thieves, um, and uh, Gears, Gears 5. So I want to hit those games and play them a little bit. And just to show you how they look, for those of you who don't have Xbox One X and maybe you're thinking about upgrading, uh, if you're thinking about upgrading to the Xbox One X, you, you shouldn't do it this year. Uh, honestly, when you have X Series X coming out, uh, you waited this long, there's no point of you buying an Xbox One X right now. Just like there's no point of you buying a PlayStation 4 Pro right now. Uh, those consoles will be obsolete. They won't be even making them anymore. So hang in there till October, November, and in November you can have yourself X Series X or PlayStation 5, and then you are all set. So whatever console you have right now, keep it. Save your money, and then wait till October, November, and then you can have your brand new generation console, and then enjoy it. So anybody who buys a Xbox One X or PlayStation 4 Pro this year, I mean this year, it's like you know, you can wait. You can play The Last of Us Chapter 2 on PlayStation 5 with much better updated graphics. So, you know, better frame rate, I'm pretty sure. That's what I would do. If you ask me, I would wait, you know. All right, so I'm going to wait for some of you uh, guys to show up. Let me know how the quality is. Because currently I'm running this at 10.5 megabits per second. And that's rendering it at 10.5 megabits per second. And the bitrate should be constant 10.5 megabits per second. Upload stream bitrate. And it should look good if you can handle it. You know, I don't know what your connection is. I don't know what your um, internet speed is. And I'm not sure if you're watching this on a laptop or a tablet or what have you. But if you are watching this on a uh, television, it's going to look the best if you're watching on a 4k monitor it will look really good but if you're watching on a phone it's gonna look sharp it should look really sharp on your phone at 1440p all right so this is Forza Forza Motorsport 7 uh, this game just looks fantastic in 4k uh, I played this game on the OLED and it looks honestly the best on OLED it really represents this game in the best possible way on the OLED. And uh, if you want my recommendation, I always tell people, the OLED will really give you the best possible quality there is. And I hope you guys can watch this. I hope there's no issues. Uh, I'm checking my uh, bitrate right now. It should be pretty good. I'm looking at my... I have like a little OBS thing here where I can check and see what my uh, upload stream is. And I can see how many um, kilobytes per second uh, it's going up. And it's definitely moving up to um, 10 point, 10 point 10.3 megabits per second right now with that constant bitrate. All right, so let's jump in, let's do some driving, and let's enjoy. I haven't played Forza in ages, man, so it's been a long time. People ask me, is there any difference between this and uh, PC version? Uh, honestly, there really is no difference. Uh, they're pretty much identical, uh, the PC version and the X version. The only thing that I wish was 
I wish that they included a uh, ultra wide screen. The Forza 7 does not support ultra wide screen on the PC, and that's my only complaint: is the fact that they that they haven't included the ultra wide screen 32 by 9. If they had included uh, 32 by 9 ultra wide screen support, that would have been great for this game. Hopefully, with the future updates, they'll do that. This is Daytona 500. Hold on. I want to change the... Uh I forgot how to uh, switch. I totally forgot how to switch. Uh, oh, there we go. Man, this game looks amazing. I believe Forza 7 was launched with a um, Xbox One X back in 2017, if my memory holds me correctly. I can't wait for Forza 8 to see what they're going to do. Uh, I think we're going to see something next week. This upcoming week, I think they're going to show Forza 8. I have a feeling that they will show the Forza 8. Also, don't forget, uh, on PlayStation 5, Gran Turismo uh, 7. Finally, uh, Gran Turismo 7, a full-fledged... Gran Turismo, not like Gran Turismo Sport, which is only dedicated to GT Sport. Uh, Gran Turismo 7 is going to be a full-fledged Gran Turismo uh, game, meaning with all of its features and everything. Can't wait for that. There was also leaks on a new, lighter, more comfortable PlayStation VR 2. Some leaks were coming out. I've seen some photos and whatnot, and... Um, it looks pretty good. All right, not bad. I turn off the music in case you guys are wondering. I turn off the music because I don't want the music to uh, to have any kind of copyright issues. Let's go to the next race. Ah well, the ninth place, better than nothing. 
Oh, I got a free car. I'll take it. 1987 Buick Regal. <clears throat> Actually, let me change the car. Hold on. Car collection. Oh shit, I didn't change the car. But that's alright. Alright, here we go. Now I can select the car. Should I go with the... Uh... I'm debating Maserati. I'll go with the Maserati. Should I go to Volvo? Ah, Maserati, Volvo. Ah, hell, we'll go to Volvo. Let's start the race. My God, this looks so good. Some people are saying that uh, there could be a possibility of um, Forza 8, 8K checkered board. Um, I don't know. The only the only way they would do that is if they can uh, if they can sustain 60 frames per second. But I don't think they'll be. I don't know if they're going to be able to sustain 60 frames per second, even with the upscale or checkered board to 33 million pixels. 33 million pixels. Uh, it's a lot of pixels and then to keep that frame steady frame at 60 FPS uh, it's a bit of a stretch even for the X Series X but hey if they can do it more power to them Passing by. This police car livery was uh, something that a friend of mine created. It looks pretty cool, actually. I'm gonna try and go for the first place if I can. Alright, I'm the fifth place. If I can make it to the third, I'll be fine. I'll be okay with the third place if I can get there.
In case you guys are wondering why am I not using a racing wheel, that's because I don't have a Xbox compatible racing wheel. Otherwise I would. All right, third place. Good, I'm okay with that. Looks like I'm gonna be the second place. All right, I'm okay with that. I'll get some more points anyway. All right, let's continue. You guys are awfully quiet here, because I don't see any uh, chat. I don't. I don't see nothing being phone. written down. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I hope it's not on my end. Um, let me see. It could be on my end. Uh, oh shit! I was about to say. Yeah, sorry guys, man. Nothing was showing on my... Uh, I, I wasn't trying to ignore anybody. It's just nothing would, was showing on my uh, chat room. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, man. YouTube's always has some issues and problems. Thank you, Steven. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Paul. Um, what's up, Ramirez Braga? Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. Now my chat room is showing up. Uh, that's YouTube for you. Listen, YouTube, you know how many people tell me I have no idea you were live streaming because the YouTube failed to notify them. But the YouTube did notify them about some big shot, hot shot YouTuber. But they didn't notify them about, you know, like me and uh, I don't know. YouTube, it's so screwed up. Their algorithm, their algorithm, YouTube algorithm is uh, it's just whack. But anyway... Now I can see you. Nice and easy. <laughs> All right. Because I didn't want you to think that I was ignoring you or something. It's just that uh, I was like, okay, I have a bunch of people here, but no one's talking. I was like, All right. It's going to be a quiet live stream. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's do a couple of more races, and then we're going to do something else. We're going to do Forza Horizon. And then after Forza Horizon, we're going to jump into Gears. And after Gears, we're going to jump into... Uh, a little bit of Halo, and then after Halo, we're gonna jump into uh, some other like games, like a Sea of Thieves, to to see how it looks. So we'll go to some of these native 4K games, and we'll check them out. All right, so let's move on. I hope the quality is good. Alright, so I got 68 uh, credits, 6,800 credits, 265,000 credits. Alright, quarter of a million credits. It's more than enough for me to get that Buick. I can open up that Buick. Okay. Moving to the evolution, slowly but surely. Uh, let's see. Formula. Spec. Mercedes-Benz Racing Truck Spec. Rally. Heroes. Uh, breakout Open. Porsche, Spider, 
All right, let's do that. Passing other cars isn't just part of this race. All right. It's the only thing that matters in this challenge. Let's try Strap this. Strap into one of the fastest cars in the world and overtake as many drivers as you can before the race ends. All right, this should be cool. This should be awesome. Yeah, that could be that too, you know. So many people are watching. comes from winning. I think reverence comes from winning over a long period. If you look at all of the great car brands, the ones that are revered, most of them have proven themselves time and time again on the track. Porsche have a reverence because of the breadth of capabilities that they've delivered on a racetrack. So I think that reverential sort of nature towards a certain car brand comes from that wider accomplishment of winning over. Oh, I love this track. This is one of my favorite tracks, dude. I remember this track from uh, previous uh, Forza 6. Here we go. Let's do this. Let me get a sip of coffee and we're going to... Look at this Porsche. This beautiful Porsche. Oh, my God, man. Listen, with this kind of a car, your girlfriend will have an orgasm, like, just sitting in this car. She'll have an orgasm. And like, that's it. You've done your job. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do this. This is a pure piece of machinery here, man. Look at this. God damn. Woo. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. The idea is to pass as many cars as possible. Oh! Oh, shit! Damn it! Come on, come on! I gotta pass as many of these as I can. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! <laughs> Supercar, yeah. What's up, Stuart? How you doing, brother? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do Streets of Rage. Don't worry. That'll be done. I have it. It will be a 4K Streets of Rage. I'm trying to live up to my 4K name. You know, it has to be 4K. Not some cloud shit with a blurry... Uh, picture no 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 has to be a native source with the HEVC codec like a, that nice hundred megabit per second bitrate I really want to find a capture card where I can do hundred megabits per second I really want to do that, man. I really want you guys to have like the best 4K, native 4K, that I can squeeze for you. Come on, come on, come on! Let's go. 
How many cars did I pass? I know the bastard. We in Austria. How dare you? I'm the Arnold Terminator. Porsche Ratsonator. Porsche Nislinator. You Volkswagen. You have no chance. Get out of there. You Volkswagen booty. Move. Ah! <laughs> I love schnitzlers. Schnitzlers are good. Especially with the mashed potato. Mashed potato schnitzlers is pretty good. And then you have a beer after that. And then you have to fart. If you fart, then you are you are good. Then you are a, a then you are excellent German if you fart. If you don't fart, then you're not an excellent German. If you don't finish that beer of keg that the giant keg of beer then you're not a good german you got to you got to you got to go to the extremes <laughs> all right bernie's alps let's move on to the next one I know. Well, the thing is, lately um, I've been having an issue with my internet. You know, uh, otherwise I would uh, live stream in 4K all the time. But due to this COVID-19, you know, the past couple of months has been really um, not that good for the internet because everyone's been using it, working from home. So I was really not getting that one gigabit. Today I'm getting a one gigabit speed. Uh, so I'm getting that what I what I pay for, you know, but in past couple of months. I didn't get it They said they're gonna credit me off uh, They're gonna Not charge me for a couple of months. So thank you Xfinity, you know Hey, at least they're not gonna charge me for two months because they felt like hey, you know He didn't get what he was paying for and this COVID-19 happened. So let's not charge him. So hey, how about you, AT&T? Why don't you do that once in a while, AT&T? AT&T will never do that. Never, ever. All right, so let's do one more race. Let's do one more race, and then we're going to jump into... Uh... Oh, is that... Hold on. Let's do I mean let's do a couple of more tracks. Let's do a couple of more tracks and then we're gonna jump into uh Forza Horizon 4. This is Forza Motorsports 7. Forza Motorsports 7 in native 4K and, and looks glorious, dude. It just looks amazing. I mean, make no mistake about it. Uh, Xbox One X, it's a 4K machine. Uh, don't make no mistakes about that. You know. And it's only $300. But please don't buy it now. Unless you have money, money is not an issue. And you don't give a shit about money. You load it. Okay? You're making a quarter of a million a year, whatever. And you don't give a shit about money. Uh, fine. Go ahead. But if money is an issue, I think you're better off waiting and save that money and wait for X Series X. X Series X, it's not an upgrade. X Series X, it's a brand new, brand new console, brand new generation console. It's just, everything's gonna feel new on the X Series X. It's gonna feel fresh and new. So, uh, and it's gonna look fucking awesome. Austin Evans, he's impressed. And if he's impressed, I'm impressed too, you know. What do I think about the uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Look, it's going to be great. So far, the Assassin's Creed team has never disappointed. Uh, maybe Syndicate was a little bit... Eh, but everything else uh, from Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Assassin's Creed 3, uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, 
uh, all of these games that they have done in the past, they have really done a great job. So it's it's an Assassin's Creed game, and it's going to look great. You know, they're going to take the advantage of the X Series X. Hopefully, they'll take the advantage of the real time ray tracing uh, and uh, shadow tracing. Hopefully, they'll take the advantage of all of that. Hopefully, they will take the advantage of uh, higher filter texturing by 16 time to give us more constant, sharper texture filtering. Hopefully, they will take the advantage of DirectX 12 and all of the accolades that the X Series X has inside. Uh, and if they do that, oh, you're gonna, it's gonna look fucking glorious on your uh, OLED C9, on your E8, C8, C9. Q9OR, QLED, OLED, it's going to look fucking fantastic on your television, without a doubt, especially with the HDMI 2.1. Uh, now, you see that cable I was recommending for you guys, the Belkin Ultra High Speed, which is 2.1 Ultra High Speed, that cable is going to come in handy now. Let's do a couple of more tracks really quick. All right, let's do... Uh, let's do a Mercedes-Benz racing truck spec. Uh, or should we do formula? I've never done formula. Uh, let's do it. Lots of car companies talk about the future through better engines, better fuel efficiency, or better safety features. But this might be the future of open-wheel racing. This is a Formula E car, where the E stands for electric. This blend of what? Pork even has its own FIA-endorsed race series. That's crazy. I didn't even know that they have electric Formula One cars. That's crazy. I think the, the car is going to be electric in the future. I think we're going to get rid of the oil. Uh, we're not going to use it anymore. We might use it for some other maybe, you know, purposes. A little bit here, a little bit there. But I think uh, everything is going to be electric in the future. Cleaner air. Uh, everything's going to be more health-wise. You know, ever since this corona, I think everything's going to be more healthier. People are going to try to live healthier, eat healthier, uh, create more healthier environment. Um, maybe something good will come out of this eventually maybe there's a silver lining there but i didn't know that they had the electric car i mean uh formula one this is crazy yeah x series x is going to be a heavy console austin evans says uh people are going to be surprised like how heavy it is he said you know it's, it's very heavy and uh, it has a lot. It's going to feel like a tank. And uh, it really represents the original Xbox. Remember the original Xbox in 2001? There's that heftiness to it. There was that weight to it. And this one, it's really packing a lot of power. I mean, X Series X will be able to deliver. The developers should not be lazy. Uh, seriously, developers in the future... You have all the tools necessary now to create kick-ass, badass games. Please do not be lazy. Take the advantage of the X Series X. Take the advantage of the PlayStation 5. Bring some awesome games, which I'm sure they will. Which I'm pretty sure they will do that. All right, let's go race. I didn't know that there was a... Because I'm really not into formula... I don't follow Formula One that much, so I have no clue, you know, because I'm here in the United States. Uh, I don't, I don't, they're not broadcasting Formula One here in the United States. They do in Europe, so I'm kind of out of the loop on Formula, and I have no idea. I had no idea that they had Formula E electric, but that's pretty cool that they do. I'm going to go with the red. Um, I'll go with this. This represents... Um, let me see. Has a Dell on there. I'll go with this one. I like this one. It's pretty cool. Oh, 
didn't like that new car smell. Oh, uh, you'll be able to find this one in the garage. What's up, Radeon? How you doing, brother? I noticed a little bit of a lag, that it's lagging a little bit right now. Like the 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 bit rate is dropping down a little bit. Hopefully, they're not leaking stuff because uh, the individual who leaked uh, the the Last of Us Chapter Two, the individual who leaked all the stuff. From the last of us actually had the time on his hands because the entire team of the naughty dog was at home they were working from home and uh, I don't know why this person felt that he had to leak like really I mean he you know what he should be fired like dude come on man why are you leaking shit why you well, you know it's like why are you doing that so the guy should be punished I'm not saying he should be completely fired but they should punish him like three weeks without a pay, uh, cut his bonus a little bit, kind of to punish him. Oh, I don't know. I mean, because uh, it's pretty bad. I mean, the guy fucked up now the entire game. People now have this idea that it's going to be some lesbian game. It's just about lesbians and lesbians and lesbians. And it's a queer game. It's all about the queers, you know, because this asshole that released the uh the leaks he was only showing the stuff that's gonna make people feel negative about it he's he didn't show the stuff about joel what happened well what happens to joel and this and that look you know what fuck this guy he should be fired fuck you man you should be fired if i was uh head of chairman uh, of naughty dog i would fire that person now you're gonna be without a job i don't give a shit uh you don't do that man you don't fucking leak shit. Especially if you work for Naughty Dog and you leaking shit. No, the guy should be fired. Fuck him. Fire him. Fire his ass. That's my message. <clears throat> no, this is, uh, it is like Lakers. It is Lakers. I want to do the honor to, uh... What's his name? Uh, who passed away... Uh, beginning of uh, January, Kobe Bryant. I, I felt like this is a good way to honor Kobe Bryant, so I felt like doing it like this. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope you guys are not having any like uh, problems with with hearing me, because uh, the internet is like. Just I want you to understand that the internet right now that I have it's kind of like slippery slope internet. And there's also a delay between what I say and what you guys type in. So there's going to be some delay. No, the guy should be fired. I agree. Should be fired. Come on. He should have known better. He should have known better. I agree with you, Steven. Come on, you know. And why would you do that? I mean, why would you hurt your team? You know you work really hard for that game. You know that they're paying you a lot of money. Why would you risk that? Why would you do it? Why? This guy is really dumb. This guy that leaked his shit is really dumb. No one's going to hire you. No company is going to hire you now. Once you get fired from Naughty Dog. Really stupid. Really dumb move. Yeah, I mean, it's really fucking... The guy's an idiot. Sorry, dude, but you're an idiot. You shouldn't have done that. Why did you leak the goddamn game? It is a shame. Now, yes, there is some lesbian elements in the game, but who gives a shit? That's not the main premise of the game, okay? It's not a lesbian love story game. It's about a survival. It's about evolving. And that's who Ellie is. She's in her adult life. 
She's evolving. She's experimenting. This is all brand new for her. Okay? That's what Joel, Joel was trying to teach her. That you don't know what life was before. And, you know, she's experimenting. She's an adult. You know? And I hate when people start using political fucking agendas and their beliefs on what should be in the game, you know? You know what, man? If, if it bothers you that she's kissing another girl, you know what, man? Then don't fucking buy the game. Fuck you. Don't buy the game. All right? I'm getting tired of these motherfuckers, you know? I don't care about people's sexual orientation. I care about the story. She could be an alien, kissing another alien. I don't care. I still think the game's gonna sell, regardless of this whole fiasco. I, I guarantee you guys, it's gonna sell, regardless of the leaks, Regardless of all this other bullshit, the true PlayStation fans will buy it. The true fans of The Last of Us will buy it. Mark my words, take it to the bank. Listen to your Mr. 4K prophet who was always right. I was never wrong for seven years, and I don't think I'll be wrong this time either. Take it to the fucking bank. That shit's gonna sell out. The Last of Us Chapter 2 is gonna sell out. And all these naysayers and all these assholes making these fucking videos, complaining and bitching and moaning about two girls kissing, they'll be playing the game too. And they're going to pay money for it. Those same assholes. Those same money whore cash register cunts. Those assholes will be doing the same thing. They'll be buying the game. They'll be playing it. So, I'm not worried about The Last of Us Chapter 2. It's going to do just fine. It's going to do great. So, that's it. That's actually a good news. I want to see Naughty Dog create something substantially awesome for uh, Microsoft. I want to see them create a new IP. That's a great news for the Xbox. I like that. Because I want to see what Naughty Dog's going to do. What the team from Naughty Dog's going to do. Creating a new IP for the Xbox. You know, to create something brand new for the Xbox. So I, I'm kind of excited about that. I'm not saddened by that. I'm kind of excited. Because I do want to see Xbox and the X Series X and the Xbox Game Studios. I do want to see them bring up some new IPs with this power that they have from the X Series X. So that's, that's fine by me. I'm okay with that, um, Alan. I'm perfectly fine with that. Wait, the guy was not from Naughty Dog? Oh, maybe he was from the Xbox, dude. Imagine if it was a Phil Spencer's friend. Bro, imagine that. If it was a Phil Spencer's friend, uh, and he turned out, and he's like an Xbox fanboy. You know what, let's just blame Phil Harrison. He was Phil Harrison, dude. <laughs> Phil Harrison leaked it. Let's just blame Phil Harrison. It was Phil Harrison. Phil Harrison leaked it, bro. <laughs> I'm going to blame everything on Phil Harrison. That's it. Whatever happens. Whatever happens, I'm blaming Phil Harrison. <laughs> He's the escape goat. He's a potsy. Phil Harrison's going to be my potsy. He's going to be escape. It's going to be a scapegoat. Scapegoat potsy. It's going to be Phil Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Phil Harrison man I'm t that's why we haven't heard from Phil Harrison all these years he was too busy hacking you know he's out there from Silicon Valley he knows all these uh, tricks how to do it he's like the, uh, as good as Edward Snowden you know he knows how to uh, hack into people's computers how to track their cookies and their information and their location 
and all that shit. I think it was uh, Phil Harrison. We're going to blame Phil Harrison for this. <laughs> You know what? It doesn't really matter who leaked it at this point. I don't think it's going to do anything. It's really not going to change people's mind. Uh, people are still going to buy the game. Uh, no one's going to read that shit. Uh, people who have a PlayStation and who pre-ordered the game, they're not going to be nowhere near uh, that you know, leak, which I'm pretty sure that leak has been banned all over the place. So, um, I'm not worried, really, guys. I'm not worried about it. Uh, the game's going to be number one in June. It's going to sell out like crazy in June, the month of June. Uh, by the end of June, uh, the beginning of July, after July 4th, our Independence Day, you're going to see the records after the Independence Day, July 4th. You're going to see on July 5th, you're going to see the sales like 20 million, 30 million, 40 million, 50 million copies. It's going to be all fucking sold out, dude. It's going to be on the top chart. It's going to sell out like crazy. Mark my words. Take it to the bank. Take it to the bank. You got my permission. It's guaranteed. Direct deposit, it's guaranteed. <laughs> so I'm not worried. I really am. Do, do you see me being worried? I don't know why Naughty Dog's being worried. Don't be worried. I wouldn't even make a statement. I wouldn't say anything because I, I wouldn't be worried. If I was Naughty Dog, I wouldn't worry about it one bit. <clears throat> I'm doing good, Dark Carnage. How you doing, man? All right, let's go to the next race with my electric formula. My electric car, ho, 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 formula. Here we go. I'm always good, Dark Carnage, man. I hope you guys are good. Oh, this is going to be great. Ready, steady, go. I heard Elon Musk, it's all over the news, bro. Elon Musk, it's all over the news. He's like, open it, open, open the country. Do it, do it now, open it. Sorry, Elon Musk. And we all know why he wants to open it. Not because he gives a shit about the people. Uh, hold on. I got to say something before we continue. Uh, I got to say something before we continue. Uh, I, I got to rip Elon Musk a new one. Elon Musk, get ready. You're going to get ripped by this guy, by Mr. Nobody. I'm going to rip you a, a big one. A huge crater. All right, Elon, Mr. Fucking Musk, you want us to open this fucking country. Do you really care about the people? Mr. Billionaire, Mr. Fucking Billionaire, if you truly care about people, why don't you donate your fucking money to everyone every and each week? Donate $700 every and each week to everybody. 300 million people. You can do it. If you really care about people and their money, and if you really care about people and their health and their safety, why don't you donate your fucking money? Send check of $750 each week to 300 million Americans, you motherfucker. Send the money, send the check to them, direct deposit it, okay? If you truly care. But you don't care about Americans, 300 million Americans, people in Europe, you don't care. You only care about yourself and your company 
and your SpaceX program because you want your employees to come back. You want to use them in the expendable guinea pigs. You want to use your workers as expendable guinea pigs to create your fucking rocket so you can fly out to the fucking Mars. Fuck you, dude. And you shouldn't use the name Tesla. You're a fucking disgrace to Tesla, motherfucker. You're never going to be like Tesla. Tesla was one in a million, one in a gigatrillion. You motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. Go, go back to where the fuck you came from. Where? I don't know. South Africa. Fucking stay there. Get the fuck out of here. Nobody wants to listen to your fucking bullshit. So fuck you, Elon Musk. Let's move on. Motherfucker talking out of his ass. This is fascist! This is fascism! Oh! Open the country! Fuck you! Why don't you open your fucking bank accounts? Why don't you start direct depositing money to every single American in this country? Why don't you start doing that? You selfish prick! Charging $100,000 for your fucking electrical car and the maintenance on the electrical car, it's it's more expensive than the fucking car. The electrical bill, it's even further more expensive. And how many fucking electrical pumps do you have? Stations do you have? Get the fuck out of here. Mr. fucking Elon. Fucking fake Musk. Get the fuck out of here. You're never going to be like Tesla. Dude, don't even use the Tesla name. I hope Tesla has some surviving relatives from Serbia, from Belgrade, they should sue the fuck out of you for every fucking penny that you have for using the Tesla name, for Nikola Tesla's name. Fuck you. How dare you, motherfucker. You are as worse as Thomas Edison. You are actually as equal as Thomas fucking piece of shit Edison. Get the fuck out of my face, piece of shit. Let's move on. Fucking Elon Musk. There you go. I ripped you a fucking new one. I hope you like it. Motherfucker. Nikola Tesla was a good hearted man. Kind man. Never took a fucking penny. Lived alone with a pigeon. Always tried to sacrifice himself for the greater good. Fuck you, Elon Musk. Go fuck yourself. That's my message to you, motherfucker. I can't believe I'm driving electrical formula how dare how dare me drive his fucking piece of shit electrical formula This is why nobody's buying a fucking uh, Tesla cars. It's fucking too expensive. Even the rich people are like, even the rich people are trading it in. It's like, fuck this shit. They're getting a cheaper uh, Lincoln Aviator. Cheaper. And it's an Aviator, Lincoln Aviator. I know a guy, you know, who's rich, has money, and he says, fuck Tesla. He went with the Aviator. Fuck Tesla. The, the guy only cares about himself, man. He has fucking ego. All right. Only gives a shit about his himself. Has a big fucking ego, dude. Walking fucking ego. Fuck that guy. Pisses me off, dude. I would tell him. I hope he skypes me. Like, put me on a Skype with him. He's gonna turn off that fucking Skype. I'll rip him a fucking big crater 
of a new hole in his buttholio. That's it. But that's why no one wants to debate me. No one's gonna fucking debate me. They can't handle this shit. I can't handle it! He's giving me a blood pressure. It's going up. Fuck, I can't handle this fucking guy. That's right, you can't handle me. I know you can't. Because it's called the truth, motherfucker. <laughs> That's it. I'm so pissed at Elon Musk. And I'm also pissed at Joe Rogan for sucking Elon Musk cock! Stop sucking his cock! Sell out. Alex Jones was right about you. You're a fucking sellout, Joe Rogan. A fucking sellout. A demon. <laughs> Damn you, Joe Rogan. What a fucking sellout. Hold on. And I, I, I gotta rip Joe Rogan a new one fucking too. I gotta rip him a new one fucking too. That's it. I'm ripping everybody a fucking big holes. Big craters now. It's gonna be like a Swiss cheese. Fuck you too, Joe Rogan. Now all of a sudden you care about the veterans. All of a sudden you care about the military. You care about the Green Berets. You care about the Special Ops. You care about the Marines. You care about the Rangers. Where the fuck were you all these years? 10 years ago. 15 years ago. 20 fucking years ago. Where were you? Gary Sainese, he cares about military. He has a company built just to help veterans. When they come home, they can have a home, they can have a mortgage, they can have a paid house ready for them as a, as a, as a thank you. Where were you? Where were you? Exactly. All of a sudden now, it's like, oh, I care about the veterans and all. Oh. You know, the, I care about the SEALs, I care about the Marines. Get the fuck out of here. Stop sucking cock. You're sucking everyone's cock now. Especially Dana White fucking cock. You're sucking nonstop. God damn. Ah. That's it. Don't get me started. Let's go. A fucking sellout, Joe Rogan. I knew it. I fucking knew it. A shill. Man, shit pisses me off. I get ticked off easily. <laughs> Sorry guys, I did grow up in New York when I came in from Bosnia and you know I kind of I kind of got raised by New Yorkers, alright? You know, if you're raised in New York, you can handle anything, you know, they're old saying. And I was raised when I I was a teenager when I came to New York and uh first moved to Albany, then the city. Queens and after Queens I went to uh, Lake Placid upstate New York I, I went to high school there uh, finished the high school then I went to Plattsburgh SUNY Plattsburgh SUNY went to the college there didn't finish the criminal justice I was just chasing pussy but I have that little bit of that New Yorker in me you know that that New Yorker rage because everybody in New, York, in New York it's real talk if you live in New York you can't bullshit everybody's real talk you can't bullshit your way out, you know, out of there in New York. So, so I have a little bit of that in me, man. I, I took a little bit of that in me because I was raised by uh, New Yorker Italians, you know, from Brooklyn, Queens, Albany. So I have a little bit of that, you know. That's why I get so like ticked off. I get like, when I see bullshit, guys, this is why I blow up like this. And even my brother tells me, dude, you need to calm the fuck down. What's wrong with you, man? People don't like and look my brother's right. He's right. People don't like this. They they get they get offended, you know, like calm down. I have kids. I have children watching. Uh well, your children shouldn't be watching me. <laughs> okay? They shouldn't be watching Mr. 4K. I I'm I'm like the vivid entertainment. You shouldn't be watching me. This is adults only, you know, a big big talk for the big adults, you know. <laughs> I know. But anyway, I apologize for me blowing up. You know, I hate blowing up like this because, um, you know, but it's just something that's, I, it's, in, in, it's in me, guys. You know, it's just, I, I get ticked off easily. I get ticked off easily. I've always been like this. 
Always. I can't change who I am. Like Just like Mike Tyson cannot change who he is. He's an animal. Mike Tyson's an animal. Once you unleash that animal, you better get out of his way. You run. Or otherwise, he'll knock the fucking air out of your lungs. He'll break your fucking rib cage when he hits you with that fucking punch. With that back, upper, cut, left and right. That's it. You're done. So same thing with me. I get ticked off easily, guys. I get ticked off easily about shit. And what ticks me off, it's bullshit. You know? It's like George Carlin says. It's bullshit and it's bad for you. You know? Elon Musk, do us, do us all a favor. Just shut the fuck up. Live in your little fucking la-la land world of your rockets and your electrical fucking toys. Leave us the fuck alone. Shut your fucking mouth. Brad Pitt also, shut your fucking mouth. I didn't like you in that fucking movie. You are the same fucking guy in every movie. Since Meet Joe fucking Black, which I slept throughout the entire fucking movie. Okay? You were good in the Fight Club and Seven, and that's that. Listen, bro, you were only good in two movies. Fight Club and Seven. Everything else fucking sucked. Moving on. My God, I'm ripping everybody new ones. I'm ripping everybody new ones. This is bad. Now I'll have to write the apology letters to the fucking Hollywood. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm ripping everybody a new one. <laughs> I bet I would be interesting in press conferences in the White House, wouldn't I? Pure entertainment. <laughs> The reporters would be walking out of the, the press conference. <laughs> Might as well put me there. If you're going to put the Barbie, listen. If you're going to have a Barbie in a, in a press conference, hey, put me in there. So if you're going to put a Barbie in there, put me in there. Okay? Good. Capish, Capito, good. Let's go. Exactly, Dark Carnage. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Some things it just has to be said, you know. Some things we just got to say it. Because it needs to be said. I agree. All right, let's do one more track. We'll do one more track. And then we're going to jump into Forza. Forza Horizon. And then we're going to jump into some other games. And then we're going to jump into uh, Streets of Rage. We're going to jump into that. But first, let me finish this. Elon Musk. You know what the E formula stands for? Not electric. Elon. Elon. Formula. That cocksucker was able to, to weasel his ass even into this fucking game. E formula. Elon formula. Unbelievable. It's going to be EFM. Elon Formula Musk, EFM, mark my fucking words, EFM, Elon Formula Musk. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Dominic, I see your comments. It says, can anyone see my comments? I was the first one to see it, can you believe it? Alright, let's go. Oh, come on. I heard the new Formula 2020 is coming out. Oh, come on, come on. Is this in Miami? It looks like it.
Oh my god, what is this? Like a destruction derby? The guy is just fucking T-boning me. I know, man. And they're all on a Zoom. They're all on a goddamn Zoom and uh, Skype and, and TikTok and all that other shit. And they're all talking out of their ass. Stay at home! Stay at home! Stay in your little, you know, little cage of an apartment. Ah! Hold on. Oh, God. Listen, I gotta rip celebrities and new ones. Well, let me just finish this race and I'll rip them a, a big one. There's gonna be a fucking wormhole. They can all go through it. Let me just finish this. Celebrities. How, I mean, think about the hypocrisy. They're all living in a big goddamn mansions. Gigantic fucking mansions. With 24 acres of fucking land. You can play a fucking golf on there. They got their own private beach, their own private fucking villas, their own private estates. But they're gonna tell you, hey, hey, stay home. Stay in your little fucking cage. You can do this. Stay in your little fucking cage. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Living in Bel Air and Beverly Hills and fucking Malibu. Fuck you. Fuck you every day till Sunday, 365 days. A year. Fuck you. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Fucking believe it. The nerves on these motherfuckers. And then Tom Brady. Fuck you too, Tom Brady. You're living in a big fucking mansion. Paying 44000 a month. Fuck you. God, man. There's a lot of list of celebrities. I just want to say, fuck you, motherfuckers, posers, prima donnas, prima fucking donnas. Fuck off. How about we never go buy your fucking movie? How about that? We never buy your fucking movie. We just watch it illegally. Bootleg. We never buy your fucking movie. Motherfuckers. Ah! They're pissing me off, man. So many cocksuckers out there. Prima donas. Prima fucking donas, man. Fakers. Fake motherfuckers. Cocksuckers. Bull lickers. Anus pressures. I don't know, that's the new one. Anus pressures. <laughs> Someone blocked you? I don't know, man. Might have been one of my old uh, moderators. One of my old moderators probably, you know, they were out of control, dude. I had to clean up some of them. I have to clean the house, dude. I have to, like, remove 10 moderators because they were misbehaving. And um, sorry about that, man. If that happened to you, I apologize to you, man. But just remember, it wasn't me. It was, it was those idiots. Moderators whom I removed. This is a brutally, brutally difficult track. Let me just finish it. All right, I, at least I finished it. 13th place, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. All right, let's do Forza Horizon. Let's jump into Forza Horizon. We're done with this game. We're done with this. We had enough of uh, Forza. Yes, I like the design, it was good. Hold on. 
All right, we're gonna go and exit this. And we're gonna go ahead and um, do some Forza. Uh, let's do some Forza, Forza Horizon. Uh, my game pass. Yeah, some of you, I know some of you guys been absent. Some of you guys been watching other YouTubers, I know. Some of you guys been watching the uh, Mr. What's his name? Okay, so tell them that I sent you also this new television. It's much brighter than the previous television. I know you've been watching that guy. It's all good. I know. <laughs> Time for a new game. How about Halo 5 Guardians, dude? How about we do a multiplayer? How about a Grand Theft Auto 5? I want to show you how... Nah, fuck that. Let's do Forza Horizon. Because Grand Theft Auto 5, here's a problem. Dude, Grand Theft Auto 5, you cannot live stream. Because of the music. That's the only thing that sucks about uh, Grand Theft Auto. is the music. You, you click on that shit. You get fucking blocked immediately. Uh, we'll do let's see what else I have uh, Forza Horizon 4 let's do it <clears throughs> ah nothing man how you doing Parker nothing we're just uh, discussing celebrities and elon musk and uh elon formula musk and mr musk smart ass wise ass telling people to go to work so that way he can make his fucking money and use us as a guinea pig we'll be talking about him you know we've just been talking about shit in general talking about the xbox playstation talk about the uh, the last of us chapter two bunch of stuff bunch of stuff that will trigger a lot of people look at this beauty it looks beautiful man oh every time I see this game I get an orgasm such a beautiful game it looks so fantastic in 4K and HDR, man. Look at it. Beauty. Isn't it a beauty? Wow. But we'll move to Lego. I like to play my Lego. All them cocksuckers out there, man. I'm telling you. Elon Musk is the biggest cocksucker. He needs to stop sucking that cock and write the check. Open the fucking checkbook. Write all of us a check. Elon Musk, because you care, you care about 300 million Americans, you want to open the country. Send us the check, Elon Musk. Go ahead, Mr. Billionaire. Let's go. Open the fucking checkbook. Let's go. Come on. Chop chop. Oh, it's my BMW James Bond car. Nice. Oh, it's spring. How about that? Welcome back, my lord. My lord, I'm your lord. Let's go. Yes, 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 yes! Oh, this is so much cooler than the little speed champion set my nan got me. Scaled up, Bugatti Chiron is finished. Get down here for the race. Hold on. Hold on a second. I gotta go to the settings. Gotta go to the audio. I gotta turn all this shit down. 
All the shit. The radio DJ is off. Where's the... Hold on. It's on. Okay. Oh my god, this game is so beautiful! Check this out, check this out. Woo yeah, baby! I always wanted to do this. Okay, my lord. I've updated your route to the Forts of Our Life event now. Turn around when it is safe to do so. All right. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? I think we can buy like three or four. God damn, this game looks so good in 4K. Turn right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll take care of that. I'll have to look into it, and I'll carefully clean up. Who needs to be cleaned up? I'll make that decision. It's going to be up to me. As it should be. I know you. I know you're... Uh, Matt, you Fritz, I remember you. Why, you get blocked? I don't know, man. It's like, uh, I can't even find you, dude. Uh, even if I type in your name right now, I can't even find you. I don't know, man. It's, it's, uh, it's a bit of a process. You know, this is why I keep telling people, man. You know, don't get yourself blocked. Because when you get blocked, it's really a pain in the ass to get yourself unblocked. It's uh, it's a bit of a stretch, because the rules have changed on YouTube. Rules have really changed on YouTube, and, that's, and when I tell people like, "Hey, don't do something stupid that will get you blocked," you know, uh, don't talk out of your ass, don't try to be a wise ass, don't try to be a smart ass, don't try to be stupid, because once you get blocked, man, it's over. And I'm not gonna waste my time going there trying to, you know rescue you and and get you out of the uh the blocking list because it's a bit of a process man it's not as simple as just me finding you and i'm blocking you it's a bit of a stretch uh so i apologize for those of you who have been affected by some of the reckless behavior of my moderators i'm not gonna say who those individuals are i'm not gonna do that but i know who they are uh just remember uh, they were out of control and maybe I made the mistake by having too many of the moderators okay so I'm gonna have to clean that up a bit I'll probably do that tonight I'm gonna leave you'll see I'll leave certain 
moderators to whom I trust. I'm not going to say who they are. I'm not going to say it publicly, but you're going to see. In, in the course of next few days, you're going to find out who is the moderator and who is not. It's going to be like a total of five, only five moderators. There will be only five moderators, and I will carefully choose those five moderators. You know what I want to play? I want to play the V Rally. Yes, I want to play the V Rally. I want to play that, but I also want to play another game. Hold on. I haven't played this in a while. I just want to drive around a little bit. See how it looks in 4K. I mean, Forza always looks great. Forza always, always looks great. No matter what, man. It's a beautiful game. Look at this beautiful game, dude. Let's try Gears. I want to try Gears 5, dude. Let's do Gears 5 really quick. Yeah, man, um, those guys were reckless, man. Uh, that's why I have to clean up. And uh, I will clean up tonight, believe me. Uh, like I said, there will only be five moderators whom I can trust. And if they screw up, then they will be removed as well. Then I'll just have one moderator. And if that one moderator screws up as well, then I'll be the moderator. Or maybe it should be me. Uh, in all honesty, it should be me because at the end of the day, I know what's right, what's not right. I know who is being uh, too aggressive, who is being too racial, who is being too hateful, who is bringing politics. I can tell who is who. And I think at the end of the day, I'm probably the best moderator, you know, and I think it should be me. At the end of the day, it should be me. Because when, it, when I'm the moderator, then you're really going to have to walk on the eggshells. You're really going to have to be careful what you say. Because you know that I have, I've been doing this for seven years. I have, like, zero problems blocking. Like, it's like me drinking a water, you know. But people I blocked, they're blocked for a reason. This is the important part that... It's not being said out there, and a lot of bullshit is being said out there about me. That's not true. They're calling me like, uh, I don't know, like some kind of uh, blocking maniac or some shit like that. I'm not a blocking maniac. People, individuals whom I have blocked, I have blocked them for a reason. They know what they've done. They know what they screwed up, okay? And there's a good reason why they were blocked, okay? What is the blocking, what's the requirement of you getting blocked? Well, asking stupid questions, being a wise ass, being a smart ass, thinking that your ego is going to accomplish something here coming to my channel, that kind of shit will get you blocked. Telling me what I should do with my channel or telling me how I should live my life, that shit will get you blocked immediately. Calling me a bipolar or some other fucking names, that shit will get you fucking blocked immediately. There's a lot of reasons, list of reasons I can write down for you to get blocked. So, if you're an adult, use your brain, be smart, okay? Don't do something where you know you'll get your ass blocked. So don't say stupid things, don't act a fool. If you act a fool, you will be treated like a fool and you will be blocked. So I emphasized this many times before. I can joke. We can joke around. We can have a good time. You know, 
I'm not some strict, you know, uh, totalitarian dictator. I'm not a totalitarian dictator. But if you push me, if you put me in that corner, I can be worse than a totalitarian dictator. So what I'm trying to say is this. We can have a good time. And why don't you want to have a good time? Let's have a good time, but let's be res respectful. You cannot talk shit about other people's sex. You cannot talk about other people's race. You cannot discriminate. You cannot bring the politics. You have to be respectful. If you're going to talk about something, you have to be respectful. And if you can't be respectful, you will be blocked. It's it's simple as that. And I have emphasized this for seven fucking years many times before. So use your brain. Be smart. Just like in real life. You're not going to walk up to somebody, say something stupid. And then when you get knocked out, laying on the fucking floor with a black eye and broken teeth, with broken jaw, oh, what happened? <gasps> yeah, exactly. What happened? Be smart. Use your brain. It's really not that difficult. All right. I, and it's sad that I even have to talk about this. It really it says a lot about uh, that this community of Internet brings the the good, but it also brings the worse. It good and the worse. You see the worst of it, and you see the good of it. You know, and it's that balance between the worse and the good. You know that that I have to deal with. You know. All right, let's go play something else. Uh, let's exit this because I want to have a good time, guys. I'm not here to be a millionaire. Okay, all you hating cocksuckers out there who hate on me. I am not doing this to be a fucking millionaire. Do you see me with a 23,000 views on this fucking live stream? No, I have 23 people watching me. I'm not in this for fucking money. I'm not in this to be a fucking PewDiePie. I'm not in this to have a big fucking house and villa. I'm 41 years old. I've been through all that shit in my life, man. Okay? I lived a good life. I'm not in it to be a fucking celebrity. So get it through your stupid fucking head. I'm not in this to be a fucking celebrity. I'm doing this because I like doing it. I like having a good time. I like entertaining people. I like chilling out with you guys. Okay? This is not about fucking money. All right? I don't give a shit about my 23 million views. Lifetime views. I don't give a rat's ass about that shit. I don't have a problem going to the bed. Oh my God, how many views did I make today? I don't give a rat's ass how many views I made today. I could give a fuck less. Even if I made zero views, pfft. It's not going to bother me one bit. Because this is not my main income. I don't depend just on this. Okay? So there's a lot of shit out there people talk about me. And they talk out of their ass. And if you guys are blindly believing that shit, then it's on you. It is on you for believing that kind of shit. Which is not true. These people have been talking shit about me for seven years. All fucking bullshit. None of it came true. And every single person who talked about me... It's hiding behind the fucking fake, fake, fake accounts. And the other guy wearing a fucking mask. You know who he is. And I know his real name, but I'm not going to fucking say it because I don't give a fuck about the guy. The real name was given to me by YouTube because he filed some kind of claims against me. And he failed. And he knows who he is. So, guys, just let it fucking go. I've been doing this for seven fucking years. I do this because I want to do it. When I feel I don't want to do this anymore, then I'm not going to do it anymore. It's up to me. I make the, I'll make i make that decision. No one's going to make that decision for me. I make that decision. When I fucking quit and if I fucking quit. I do this because I want to do it. Because I love hanging out with you guys. It's that simple. It's not the money. If it was the money, first of all, I wouldn't be live streaming. I would be making some fucking five minute videos on the television by some sponsored company out there, and that's that. And then I'd be checking my PayPal to see how much money I've got if I only gave a shit about fucking money. So, for the last time, if you're gonna go out there and, and believe all that bullshit, believe it. I don't give a rat's ass. Doesn't bother me. It bothers you, it doesn't bother me. But just remember, it's all bullshit. It's what it is.
What's up, Mr. Wayne? And this applies to everybody. All right, guys. I know who you are. I know what you think. Don't think I'm stupid. Uh, let's say one more thing. If you think I'm stupid, then you got to be the dumbest motherfucker on this planet for thinking that I'm stupid. Thinking that I don't know what's going on. Thinking that I don't know who's saying who, who's saying what. I know it all. People tell me shit for free anyway. I know everything. Just remember that. I know everything about everything that's going on and what's being said. But I don't give a shit. Because I do this because I love doing it. I love hanging out to do this shit. It's not about the fucking money. Get it? It's not about the money. What kind of a person would spend his own fucking money to buy a television and then make videos about it? No, ask yourself this fucking question. All you stupid fucking crocodiles, stupid motherfuckers. What kind of person would buy the televisions, would buy all this fucking equipment out of his own fucking pocket? If he gave a shit about the money. Think about that. Use the fucking logic. Next time you go out there and read the bullshit about me. Lose this. Use the logic. Use this shit here. Think. Think. Be smart. Put two and two together. Maybe it's going to equal to four. And not 44. Thank you, Dark Carnage. You know... And it's fucking sad that I have to talk about this. Like, it's seven years I've been doing this, and I got to talk about this bullshit, you know, so that people will understand, you know. But not regardless of what I say here, regardless of what I say, people will think what they want to think. That doesn't bother me. That's your problem, not my problem. I don't live my life to, to worry about what you fucking think. I live my life for me. I do this because I want to do it. That simple. All right, let's go play something else. And then people ask me, what is your channel all about? It's about me. When you go see a Howard Stern, you go to see a Howard Stern. When you watch Jimmy Fallon, you go to see Jimmy Fallon and the guests that he brings. When you watch Joe Rogan, you go there because of Joe Rogan. This is not a TV channel about televisions. It's not about the cloud gaming. It's about me, this guy right here. That's why it says Mr. 4K Ops Killer. It's about this guy, this character. This character. That's why you come here, because of this character. If you want the televisions only, then go and listen to, what's his name, HDTV Test. Go to HDTV Test. Go to Digital Trends. Go to uh, I, uh, Our Things from Montreal. Watch them. They're all about the televisions. They're just strictly televisions. I am not strictly televisions. So people have a lot of confusions as to what my channel is about. It's about me. Capish, Capito, it's about me. You come here to see me. End of story. Let's hit some Streets of Rage, dude. Let's fucking do it. Let's do it in 4K. And it's pretty fucking pathetic and sad that I have to talk about this. After seven years since 2014. Seven years, man. We, I, have to, I have to talk about the same tune. The same recurring fucking tune. Same recurring damn LP record has been playing. With the same needle that hasn't broken yet. It's pretty fucking sad. And it's pretty sad that I have people who've been following me since 2014 and they still don't fucking get it what, what my channel is all about. They still don't fucking get it because they got all these fucking ideas in their heads and all the fucking ideas that you have in your heads are fucking wrong! Wrong! You're fucking wrong about everything that you heard fucking false and wrong but you still believe that shit you still talk about that shit on reddit but then you have the nerves to come to my channel and kiss my ass as if i don't know but i'm not gonna mention you and the names a list of these individuals whom i knew in the past
And you know who you are. You know exactly who you are. Ah, oh, man. You see what I got to deal with? <laughs> I ask myself sometimes why I do this, bro. Like I said, like, dude, you don't have to do this, Mr. 4K. Like, you do not have to do this shit. But I do because I love doing it. Because I know there's followers out there who truly follow me, who care about what I do. You know, I don't focus on just the negative cunts. I focus on the people, the positive ones, who truly care about what I do. They sit through 12 hours of my live stream. Like Stephen H., not only did Stephen sit through 12 hours of my live stream on Final Fantasy, but he donated and sat through the entire live stream. Uh, and the other guy, uh, Matthew, Matthew Fritz, I'm sorry that you got blocked. There were so many people that got blocked. That's why I, got blo that's why I blew up. That's why I got pissed off on that day because I couldn't fucking believe my own moderators acting like idiots blocking left and right but that won't happen anymore that won't happen anymore because I will be the moderator I'm gonna make a decision who stays who goes which it should be directly for me and that's how it should be I should be the moderator I should be the one making decisions so I'm going to have to clean up a lot. I mean, everybody, I'm going to have to. I mean, you will not be removed. It's just your badges, your wrenches will be removed. You're still going to be, of course, here. But I will have to remove your wrench. Why? Because I want to be the one that will make a decision on who gets blocked, who stays. And it should be me. I should be the one making that decision. Pretty much. I can't leave it in the hands of somebody else because somebody else has a different ideas than yours and he might not like it and he blocks you. I'm not going to give them that power. They will not have that power anymore. That will change tonight. Tonight, that's going to be changed. Twin, uh, Tevin Parker, yeah, man, you can add me. You can add me. Just go to Edo79. Go to Edo79 and add me on there, man. I'm right there. All right, Streets of Rage should be ready to go, I think. Here we go. This is in 4K, Streets of Rage. <laughs> Mr. Struders. I will tonight. Not right now, but tonight. Everyone's badges will be taken. Tonight, there won't be any moderators. You got my promise, Wayne. It will be removed. <laughs> but you're going to have to wait for it. Tonight. Tonight we're doing it, Bubba. Tonight, Bubba. Tonight, Bubba. The badges are getting removed. Only one king will be here me <laughs> all right let's do this streets of rage uh. streets of rage come on i'm gonna play with a co-op hey yo wayne um desperado do you have um hey anybody here wants to join me play a co-op streets of rage 4 anybody oh man you've been playing a spider-man a lot i got stuck at the one level dude with uh with these uh flying explosives and around the buildings man it's uh that game is hard spider-man is freaking hard What's up, JT? How you doing, brother? Well, the problem is you got 7.4 billion people on this planet. Uh, and, uh, of course, out of 7.4 billion people on this planet, you're going to have all kinds of people. 
and people with different ideas, different ideals, and you know, this is why I need to be the moderator. Only me should be the moderator, and that's what's going to be tomorrow. Uh, in the next few days, I'll be the one that's going to be moderating, and uh, that's it. I'll the one. I'll be the one to make decisions on who goes, who stays. Um, you know, it takes me half a second, really, man. It's really simple for me to to clean. I'm gonna change my name to Mr. Clean. Yeah, Mr. Shooters, this is on the Game Pass. Go and join me, man. Come on, bro. Wayne, join me on the on the Game Pass. Let's do it together, bro. I'll be the Bobzilla, you be the uh, the Axel. <laughs> it is. There's gonna be some. Um, there's gonna be some delay because people are coming in and out, in and out, in and out. Go ahead, join. Uh, JD, go ahead, JD. Uh, EDO79. Oh, no. Desperado, come on. Eh. It's all good, Desperado. Don't worry about it, man. When you come back, you playing on easy? I'm going to play on easy, too. Hold on. Wait, let me... Uh... Retro soundtrack. Yes! Let's go. All right, I'm going to do some online uh, matches with random people. Master Z. Let me join the Master Z. It could be. Okay, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be Boobzilla. Oh, he's a Boobzilla. Hold on. I'll be... No, not two Boobzillas. I'll be the Axel. Alright, here we go. We'll make it The Last of Us Chapter 2. Let's go. But don't worry.